the world is still short of everything, get used to it. That's a New York Times article. Now, granted, that doesn't sound too nice of a thing to say to people, get used to it, but I guess they're trying to be very blunt. So we're going to look at that. We are going to look at that. Now, here's the New York Times article. The world is still short of everything, period. Get used to it. Pandemic-related product shortages from computer chips to construction material were supposed to be resolved by now. Instead, the world has gained a lesson in the ripple effects of disruption. Kristen stopped ordering some products for her kitchen supply store in Brookings, South Dakota, tired of telling customers that she didn't know when the items would arrive. So she just quit ordering them because she really didn't know. So you, you say, Gina, what did she say? She said she stopped ordering items for her store because she got tired of telling her customers that she really didn't know when the items were going to arrive. So that's what she did. She just stopped ordering them for her kitchen. The article is written on August the 30th of 2021, and it appeared in the New York Times. Like most people in the developed world, Kirsten had long taken for granted her ability to order whatever she needed and then watch the goods arrive without any thought about the factories, the container ships and trucks involved in the delivery, not anymore. Well, I've got something to say about that. You notice how it says, like most people in the developed world took things for granted. That wording right there, you all, in the developed world took things for granted. And you know, that is true. That's true. Uh, there's a lot of people in the developed world that have taken things for granted as if they'll always be there but that wording, it's like so right there in your face. It is. She says, it's nuts. It's definitely not getting back to normal. The challenges confronting Miss Gladstool's shop, the Carrot Seed Kitchen, are a testament to the breadth and persistence of the chaos roiling the global economy. As manufacturers and shipping industry contend with the unrelenting pandemic. Delays, product shortages, and rising costs continue to bedevil businesses large and small, and consumers are confronted with an experience once rare in the modern times, no stock available, and no idea when it will come in. You may say, Gina, well, what does that mean? I think it means exactly what it says. Um, short supply and no idea when that stock is going to come back in. Um, we need to be prepared uh, inside here, first and foremost, and if you need to make physical preparations, your timeline is getting super, super short because there may not be enough products available for you to prepare to the extent that you wanted to prepare. Okay, it may not. It's not getting any better. It's not getting any better, and it won't be. Okay, we need to wake up. This is a wake-up call, you all. They're telling you, it's, they're, they're really telling you, like most people in the developed world took things like this for granted. They're telling you what's going to happen. And then they say, not anymore. There's no more taking things for granted. Okay, so with that being said, Hello, wherever you are in any part of the world. Hello from my heart to yours. Love you and thank you for watching this video and you all, the, the timeline, I'm, I'm serious. It's, you got about this much time left to prepare to the extent that you might want to prepare if you've got uh, the funds available and if the food is there or the supplies are there. You got about this much time left. Thank you.